right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of action out of the 132-pound weight division. Fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the blue trim and weighing in at 131 pounds. He represents striking 101 with a record of three and three, two by way of knockout. From Queens, New York, Brandon Hosa. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the pink trunks and weighing in at 131 and one half pounds. He trains with Evolution Muay Thai with a one and one record. From right here in Manhattan, New York, Franz Pierre. Kevin Mohal, our official, conferring with our supervising official, Chris the Cannon Wagner at ringside before providing the final instructions between our next two competitors, Franz Pierre on the left side of your screen in the pink trunks, and Brandon Hossa in the black and blue. Franz Pierre representing Evolution Muay Thai in New York City. Hossa fights out of striking 101 in Astoria. We're underway, first of three rounds, scheduled at 132 pounds in a modified Thai boxing affair and an immediate, nice, immediate uh, trip there. Yeah, I was about there. to say the way Pierre is coming out nice and relaxed. I remember seeing him fight on a couple shows before, but yeah, I like this kid. Significant height advantage for Franz Pierre here as again he viciously sweeps the legs away from Brandon Hosa. Now if I was Brandon, I'd kind of stay away from the middle kicks right now. I'd kind of throw the low kicks or I would set the middle kicks up with the hands so they don't get caught or answer back like he just did there. But I'd try to break the rhythm up here. I wouldn't let him get too comfortable. I wouldn't let him kind of set in his rhythm. I'd push the pace a little bit more, but but good job. Way to stay composed by Pierre. Real fun fighter to watch. Pierre, five foot 10 compared to Hosa's five foot six. Really an asset as a Muay Thai fighter when you can fight at a lower weight class with such a tremendous tremendous oh, height advantage. Definitely, you got that reach, you got to get past those long legs and punches, and then when you get inside, you got the knees and the elbows. It's like, you'd be very frustrated. I, I, I feel like Hose is kind of feeling that way right now. He's been on the canvas for three times this first round, but. Once again, the length of Pierre befuddling Brandon Hosa. He's like Stretch Armstrong in there. He can get comp almost completely wrapped wrap around Hosa's legs. Uh, it's it's kind of beautiful to watch, and he's just so relaxed and so confident. Excellent, right? Picks him up off the ground and times that dump, waits for Hosa to kind of get off balance and then goes for that dump. And again, Hosa going to the middle kick and Pierre ready for it, timing it perfectly. 20 years old for Pierre, wow. I'd like to see him in four or five years, man. This kid's going to be something else, huh? Could be a very fruitful career for this young man from Cap Haitian, Haiti. Now calls New York City home. Final bell rings there. I, I, I don't know if you caught it at the end there. Uh, Hosa kind of threw that overhand right and it landed. He, I think he threw two of them right at the end of the bell there. Kind of got Pierre kind of standing a little bit too tall. If I was at a give instructions to the corner holes. I'd tell him to kind of go back at that and try to land that right hand because he's not successful with the kicks right now. And after a first minute... We just saw right there at the beginning of that clip, yeah. First minute 50 of that round, you see Pierre kind of looking very, very comfortable in there. How, is it hard not to get complacent as a fighter there when, you, when you're when you looking so strong in the first part of a fight? I, I, I don't think so. I think it's just going to... The confidence will just keep growing. You know, he's kind of setting its rhythm, and it's kind of hard to break that. But that's what you have to do. you got to kind of make a guy like that doubt himself and then second guess. But, you know, if you let him keep going, he's just going to build up, build up, build up, and get stronger and stronger. Hosa spending too much time on the canvas for his liking in that first round. We'll see if he can make an adjustment here in round two. We're underway. I'd like to see him get it. Oh, he's coming out southpaw. I don't know if that's going to be uh, better or worse. I think it's just more of the same. Pierre again taking the legs out from underneath Brandon Hosa now fires a right leg to the body. Good work in the clinch on the inside. Good arm control. 
kind of wrestling with their arms to find the best position. They're both well educated in the clinch. But with that jump, I think I have to say Pierce just a little bit more. He has a college degree. Impressive showing to start this fight. But that's what I would use if I was Hosa. Yeah, I hate to cut you off, but I'd like to see him use his hands a little more but not fall in. Kind of find that, that medium point where he can let his hands go right from that middle point, kind of almost in the fire zone, but let him go in combination. Hosa landed a nice right hand, but completely forgotten as Pierre just picks him up off the ground and slams him to the canvas. Like he kind of doesn't know quite what to do out there. Right there, see what I just said before? He threw the first punch and came back with the hook, and the hook landed. It wasn't devastating, but it landed. If he could throw three, four, five punches together, I think he could be successful. Because he's oh. not doing well in the clinch, as you can see, and he's not doing well with the kicks. Pierre is one and one in his young career. Host is three and three with two knockouts to his credit. So he has the ability to stop a fight. He may need to dig deep to get the best of Pierre here, who's put on an outstanding show for the first three and a half minutes of this fight. Good body kick by Pierre. Kind of snuck it right up under the elbow. And I like how Pierre threw the kick. He took his time and placed the emphasis at the end of the kick and not the beginning. Now he's showing a dominant performance tonight. Hosa trying to keep up with the knees to the body. But unable to as round two expires. Yeah, you, you can kind of see he kind of looks a little frustrated, right? He kind of looks like he doesn't know how to kind of put this puzzle together. Trying to right. look at some of the beautiful leg work of Franz Pierre. Sweeps galore in the first couple of rounds of this fight. He's like, a, he's, like a, he's like a janitor out there, huh? Sweeping all night. <laughs> Amazing. So polished looking for a 20 year old fighter. Walked into the right hand there. He definitely did. He saw that. And he Ho doesn't look as strong with the punches. You see, he threw that right hand. It kind of came off balance. Like Pierre knows what he's strong at, and he's sticking with it. I feel like Hosa should figure out what works and what's strong for him and stick to that. And that'll come with time. These guys are amateurs, they're still new. I mean, six fights, two fights, and they have a lot to learn. And, and they're looking so good for this amount of fights. For, for having such few fights, they're looking great. The great Brandon Levi coaching on Franz Pierre. The head coach at Evolution Muay Thai, a former fighter in his own right. He's just an overall good guy. Brandon is a... A great guy and a great character for the sport of Muay Thai. Nice yeah. moment there for Hosa as he takes the legs out from Pierre. I mean, Brandon's a good guy. We, 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 you know, we share a lot of inspiring text messages. I can only imagine. Hosa, meanwhile, representing Striking 101 in Queens. Trains under Jonathan Ruiz. Striking 101's put on a lot of good uh, seminars. Flown a lot of, like, top fighters from Europe and Brazil. Looks like Hose has got a little bit of a knot next to his ear on the right side of his face. I don't know if the fans can see that on TV. Yeah, right on the right cheek, Jason. You got it right. He has a nice little bump band in there. It looked like he may have gotten split open on the left temple. I don't know if that's from in the clinch, or sometimes you'll kind of block the kick and the glove will kind of pop up side of your face and mark you up. Like Pierre is so long, Jason. Oh, yeah, and he knows how to use it. Just, Just muscles Hosa to the ground. Yeah, it's a it's a impressive performance by Pierre. And I don't think we're seeing I don't think we're seeing the best of Brandon no, Hosa no. here tonight. No, definitely not. I don't think we're seeing the best of Pierre yet. I'd like to see Pierre get tested a little bit more and kind of bring out the best in him. I think if he fights in a harder fight, it's going to step up his game. It's like leveling up in a video game. You know, you beat the boss. And five, <laughs> well said. Five or six stiff knees to the body of Brandon Hosa. Franz Pierre just loading up from that clinch position, able to generate so much leverage with that length. He just, I like the way he gets his body and his head in position to fire off those knees. He kind of gets in position first, and then he launches them up the middle. Three rounds of hard-fought action. And modified rules boy tie between Franz Pierre and that man, Brandon Hosa. And that was a that was a good performance. Good display of Muay Thai by Franz Pierre. 
And that was how Hosa started round three. It looked like maybe he was going to start turning the tie, but Pierre went back to asserting his control shortly thereafter, those opening few seconds, Jason. Definitely. And really just did a little bit of everything, especially with those legs. He can really do a lot of special things with those legs. Yes, he can. They're just so loose. He just, they just fly everywhere. Good, he's great at timing that dump. distance here between Hosa and Franz Pierre. It's up to the judges now. Connor Hall awaiting the scorecards. And a really impressive showing for Franz Pierre. Brandon Levi with him. Also Will Watson, another one of his teammates from Evolution. Also a fighter here on Friday Night Fights. Franz Pierre and Brandon Osa awaiting the official decision. Connor Hall has the scorecards in hand. Let's go up to him to the official particulars. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we are going to go to the judge scoring card, where we have 27-30 from all three judges. For a winner, unanimously, Franz Pierre.